morning, everyone. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Upstairs in the Workshop. So today we're going to show you how you can build a shelf layout with just using a turnout fixture. You can build straight track, you can build your, your turnout, you can build that little curve that you need to go into a siding, and we're actually gonna show you how to build some ladder track as well too. So by the time we're done, we're going to actually have track down on the workbench and you will actually see a main line with the yard with ladder track. So it's pretty exciting. We've never actually covered any of this before. So this is really the first time we're going to get at it. So for those who have tuned in for the first time, just want to say thank you for joining us. And Upstairs in the Workshop is a series that we're doing just kind of as a casual thing. It's you know, nothing formal, there's no, there's not even any notes, and it's kind of geared as if you came over and we're just gonna go over stuff, just like you do go into a friend's house. So we have a lot to cover, and I'm pretty excited about what we're gonna do today. Again, I said it's never been covered before, so let's get right into it. So believe it or not, you can actually build an entire layout with just, ooh, that light is horrible, uh, with just a turnout fixture. So today's episode was inspired by a friend of mine nearby who after a couple years of building his basement layout was frustrated that he just couldn't walk downstairs and build and just run some trains. And, you know, he was having some second doubts on what he was doing. So today's episode is designed to really just get you inspired. And if you're thinking about uh, starting a layout or if you don't have a lot of space, that's fine because you can... Get some one by threes, make a frame, throw some plywood down and get some track down and get some trains running quick. And if you don't have a whole lot of space when you're done, you can store those behind a door. So this is kind of a way to get you started without a whole lot of investment. So let's get right to it. So last episode on upstairs in the workshop, I showed how you can build kind of some turnout skeletons that look just like this that you can use in your track planning. So we're gonna kind of take things to the next level again. So I'll try to hold this so the glare isn't uh, too bad. So the thing that you wanna do is start with your turnout skeleton and then when you're done, if you flip the fixture around, if you look and you just kind of place this right here, and if you look, and I'm trying, trying to do my best for the lighting, you can see that the diverging route is kind of like the start point of your siding. So let's take a look at that in a little more detail. So what I did last night, not gonna do any soldering this time, and if I do uh, cough, I apologize, I'm finding some bronchitis at the moment. I'm not mic'd up now, so you won't have to listen to it. So what I did last night is I just kind of mocked up some track inside the fixture just so you can kind of see how it looks. And then what I did is these pieces right here, I just soldered some brass angle to the top of the track and those can be unsoldered later when you actually put some PC ties down. So then what I'll do is kind of hold this up in place and now you can kind of see there's that angle that you need for a siding. And this will also be used as your last track in a ladder track series, which we're gonna cover at the end of this video. So lots of good stuff. So I just wanna throw that out there that you know here's an alternative to using flex track to get that angle. Sometimes when you use flex track, you get this little extra bump out right here that then you then have to take some time to kind of smooth out. But you can actually use your turnout fixture to get that angle right here. The other thing you can use your turnout fixture for is actually building straight track down below. We covered that uh, in the soldering video that's on the page. So if you wanna go back and watch that again, you can certainly do so. So knowing that, let's put some track down and this is where it gets pretty exciting. Uh, the one disclaimer I will say is everything I'm gonna show you was built in a turnout fixture and the tie spacing on a turnout fixture is mainline tie spacing. So if you are doing an industrial layout or if you want different tie spacing, I would encourage you to pick up one of our straight track combination fixtures uh, that has different tie spacing, main line, branch line, and siding. The spacing gets a little wider after uh, main line gets a little wider for branch line and even wider for siding. So then what you can do is after you build 
your turnout, you can basically match up your turnout with the spacing that is on, I'll hold it so the light's a little bit better, so you can match up your tie spacing with the combination tie fixture. And then if you use this, this will match the twist ties that we also make as well. But just know that what we're doing today, everything is gonna be in mainline tie spacing, which matches the turnout. So just wanna throw that out there. So now what we're gonna do is actually get some track down and show you how you can lay a siding. I'm gonna reposition the camera a little bit just so we can kind of get everything in the frame. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take the turnout that you just saw in the fixture and slide that over. And if you notice this piece right here, there's your siding. And then we can throw some straight track down next to it, just like this. And I'm gonna use little sweep sticks right here and kind of use them as uh, a rail joiner just while we're putting all of this together. And I'm just gonna throw an extra tie down underneath here since it doesn't have ties yet. And I'm just gonna put another sweep sticks down below. Right here, you heard that little click. So now what we want to do is make sure that our, our spacing between our siding and our mainline track is consistent. So I'm going to throw a couple other little sweep sticks in here. And I'm going to talk about a tool that rarely gets mentioned. But we make this, this tool called a space gauge, which has little nubbies on the bottom that fit into the sweep sticks. And what's nice about this is it can actually slide and adjust. And they're on the website, they're about $7 for a pack of three. And the whole idea is once you get your spacing to where you need it, you actually glue it together and that way your spacing will be the same no matter what you use it on. So what we're gonna do is just hook up some of these right here. And we're just going to make sure that everything lines up and that looks pretty good. Slide that into the frame a little bit better. And then you can, you know, keep going with additional track uh, as you see fit. But we're gonna take this apart and now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to lay a double track main line and then actually start making a ladder track. So we're just gonna take everything apart here and I'm gonna show you another little tip that you can do with the turnout fixtures, which is pretty cool. Everything we do is pretty cool, who am I kidding? So when you build turnouts, you don't have to build just the turnout. You can actually, and I need to slide this back, you can actually build a lot more in the turnout fixture. So what I did, knowing what we're gonna do and build a yard, I kind of continued building. So once I was done, I flipped this around and I actually used the fixture to continue building the straight track. And as you do it, you can just kind of walk the straight track down and when you're done, you have a huge piece of track like this. But this is the start of our ladder track, which we're gonna to get to in just a minute. So first things first, let's get our main line down. And I'll try to have this in the frame as much as possible and I'll keep moving it. So what we're gonna do first is actually just throw together our first main line. And again, I'm using sweep sticks to hold everything in place in lieu of rail joiners for this demonstration. So there's our first main line. Then we're gonna take the turnout that I just showed you and we're just gonna kind of place it next to it and add some more straight track. 
and pop in another sweepstakes. Actually, on this one, I'm going to use one of our long ones right here. And then I'll throw another one in down here. What we want to do first is make sure that our spacing with what we're doing is right where we need it to be. So I'm just going to pop in these space gauges, put one down here, and then I'm going to add another one down here. That's looking good. So now our two tracks are perfectly parallel to each other. And as you saw in some of the previous videos, I'm a big fan of using painter's tape. And I just want to throw a little bit down and hold everything together like what you see here. Because we're going to reuse these space gauges. I have more coming. They're coming Tuesday. So let's just throw some more painter's tape down. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And that is looking pretty good. So just to kind of give you a little overview, here's what we've created so far. We have a double track main line and we're going to right here start making a siding off of that main line. And I did already put everything together so it's pre-built so we don't have to solder anything today. So next I'm gonna take this piece of long track that you just saw previously and we're just going to lay that down amongst everything else. And taking our sweep stick, just pop this in. Then what I'll do is kind of go over here so you can see how we're gonna go off of this spacing right here. And pop that in place so now everything is perfectly spaced. And here's the side view, just so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at now. Now we have three tracks in place. And this is where it gets really fun. We're kind of towards the end of the ladder. So we are making ladder track, everybody, and you can make ladder track in your turnout fixture. So for this last part of the yard, I made another piece like this where I extended the rail coming out of the fixture. And we're going to add this, move the camera a little bit so you can see it. We're going to add this just like we did all the other tracks using our sweepstakes kind of as a, a rail joiner. And I'm gonna throw a larger one inside here. And then we're gonna take our space gauge again and we're going to pop that in place. And we're gonna hold that on. I'm using a four inch track spacing and the thing I'll say about the space gauge is it's not rail specific, it's not code specific. They just come in different sizes depending on uh, how far of the spacing that you want. So I'm just going to tape some of this down here just to hold it in place so nothing moves on us. Things are looking pretty darn good at the moment. So now what we're gonna do is here's the last piece of our yard, our last track. So then let me slide things down just a little bit so we can kind of get towards the end here. So now what we're gonna do is take the piece that I showed you earlier, which is the diverging route in the fixture, and that is actually going to sit let me move that back just a little bit more. Sorry about that, move my iPad. There we go. So now this piece right here can easily go right in to where the diverging track um, was on the fixture. 
Actually, that didn't make sense. So we used the diverging track on the fixture to make this little curve piece. There we go, that's much better. And now we're going to pop in a little sweep sticks down here and we are going to use our space gauge and make sure that everything is right in line with where it needs to be. And holy cow, in under 10 minutes, we just put together a main line that goes into a yard. And what you can do is kind of think is this, of this as snap track, uh, hand laid snap track almost. So just so you can kind of see everything, here's what we did. So there's the main line and we went up, here's the first, here's the first siding and then here is our yard right here. And as you can see, this is O scale, that takes up a lot of real estate. And that is the reason why I like to uh, do everything full size, just because when you have an idea in your head and what it looks like on paper, and once you actually get it down on your layout are two different things and it's best to see everything. So what we did literally in a few minutes was lay out a main line and lay out a ladder track yard, which is pretty darn cool. So I hope that gives you some inspiration and lets you know that you don't need a ton of fixtures to get started. The whole goal is just to start something, do something, get something running, even if you use that track as a programming track to test your locomotives, to just practice switching, or if you have one of those cool proto throttles that are out, that would work really well uh, too. So a couple other little housekeeping things. If you want to see more track work, go to uh, Fast Track's face, uh, Facebook page. You'll see more there. Uh, otherwise, our website is handlaytrack.com, and up in the upper right hand, there's a YouTube button. You can click on that, and you can watch videos on everything that we make. And then if you want to see more detailed track, there's a great Facebook page called Track Modeling and Detailing. And then also check out a Modeler's Life podcast as well, too. So there it is. Short, simple, sweet. A lot of action thrown at you. Let's take a look. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. Look at that. How cool is that? And look at how quickly all of that went together. And it is perfectly spaced. And it's just ready for some ties. So... Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next week for the NMRA X convention where we're going to add another main line to this. And we're actually going to uh, throw in a crossover as well, too. So have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. And we'll see you next week.